Good morning, PS17, and happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, June 10th, 2020. If everybody could please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. We're standing tall, we're facing our flag, hands are placed over our hearts. Salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our school mission statement. We are here to be literate, innovative, and proficient scholars who will participate in rich academic learning in a nurturing environment where we will rise. This will be accomplished by creating collaborative and supportive teaching and learning systems involving the entire PS17 community. Okay, family, we have read so many books together that I actually need to go get some more books. Can you believe that? Well, I can believe that because we love reading, our community loves reading, but I don't have any more books to read to you. I have to go get some more. So while we're waiting for books, um, I thought I would talk to you a little bit about uh, something called the pride flag today. And I also found one of my pride shirts from a parade that we went to. And I'm going to include some photos underneath the YouTube link um, so that you can see some of our community um, that marched in what's called the pride parade. So remember June is uh, pride month. It's uh, a month where we celebrate AG LGBTQ history um, and folks that have had an impact on the LGBTQ community. So you might see beautiful rainbow flags around and we know that um, we've also posted those um, since we went home for remote learning um, because flags were a symbol of uh, rainbows were a symbol of beauty and of hope right uh, the rainbow uh, is also representative of um, the LGBTQ community and it's been a symbol for the LGBTQ community since its creation in 1978 it's also called the pride flag and you'll see that I have the rainbow colors on my shirt and it says Marshard, Bayard, Harvey, Wewa, Lorraine and me. These are all famous people in LGBTQ history. Um, and this is the shirt that um, a lot of us wore when we marched in the Pride Parade uh, for the past couple of years, which was super exciting. So it was created, the Pride flag was created in San Francisco in 1978, and it originally had eight colors. Now it has six because it was easier to make. So I'm going to explain to you what the colors mean. Um, and then maybe um, it, with your family, you can create your own pride flag at home. Red in the flag means life. Orange stands for healing. Yellow stands for the sun. Green stands for nature. Royal blue stands for harmony. And violet stands for spirit. So 17, if you choose to make a flag, send us a picture. Um, you can send me a picture, you can um, post it below, um, and show your pride today. Show your pride for life, for healing, for sun, for nature, for harmony, and for spirit. PS17, have a wonderful day, and as always, remember, we love you.